do. And one. Hello, everybody. We're live with five minutes uh, with Shawnee. This is Sean in the air, and Jerry Shell's uh, co-hosting this event with us. Good evening, everybody. Good afternoon and good evening. It is. Thank you, Jerry, oh. for joining us. This is exciting. This topic. So, today. Mr. Sean, tell us what are we talking about today? We're actually talking about me driving for the first time post stroke. They told me I wasn't going to walk, talk, or ever drive again. Driving? And then I proved them wrong completely. You sure did. Yeah. How long after your stroke was this? Oh, it was probably about a good a good year and a half, actually, or two years. Okay. Good. And what was it that you felt you needed to do to be able to do before you could take on driving? Well, that's a good question, Jerry. I wanted to, to, to be able to be independent of my cane, my hemi walker, or, or the wheelchair at the time which I was independent of all of those for quite some time, but I really wanted to be able to walk at least 100 feet. I wanted to be able to walk around the car, open up the doors, and if I did drive, you know, I'd pull up to a parking lot. I want to be able to at least walk independently from my car into the store, into the grocery store, into the movie theater, and just being able to be independent, starting up to do that. So that made, yeah, it makes sense. It doesn't do any good to drive someplace and then not be able to walk anywhere or to manipulate, especially exactly. if you're alone or independent want to be on your own right of course and then you know learning to use a seatbelt. you know i had to i had to i had to practice so many things that people just take for granted how do you you know one-handed how do you pull the seatbelt over buckle the seatbelt in you know i learned how to use the you know the right and left uh, the um you know the right and left signs the blinkers and you know i just had to get in the car and feel comfortable and then i, I was able to do all that and then believe it or not one day i thought to myself Hey, I'm going to get in the golf course with my dad. And I actually got into the golf cart, which is so funny. Instead of the squirrels and, and, and the gophers running from me, I, I actually had golfers running from me. I would imagine you did. Did they, did they come after you with a club or anything or I, start throwing golf balls at you? It's funny. You say, I sure hope not. But I learned actually to drive in a golf cart. You know, my brain had to get rewired, rebooted, took, took everything out of me. It was exhausting, but I just had to do it because I didn't know my left and my right, Jerry, believe it or not. You didn't know left from right? No, I did not have that. Can you explain to everybody why, what that is and why? Well, yeah, because, I mean, that's a good uh, question, Jerry. You understand that, that my injury happened on my right side, so my left side of my body was actually turned off or went dormant. So everything, my speech, my hearing, and my, and my arm, my leg were then dormant or sleeping or paralyzed. So I had to train myself, my left and my right. Wow. Yeah. That's incredible. And so, because your, your, our normal brain patterns kind of decide which is right and left. So you had to rework all of that. Mine was so mixed up, Jerry. We didn't know. I didn't know which way was up, which way was down. And forcing myself to, to drive again, rewired everything and actually woke up my brain. I think I got clearer. I got smarter. And it's basically, it's just endurance building. It's, it's, like, it's like running a marathon. I just had to start somewhere. And I got into a golf cart, started just driving using the accelerator, the brake, because I didn't know things weren't things didn't come to me. But as I did it more and more, everything just just woke up. And just explain to people uh, how did you do this on the golf course? And, and we were making some fun earlier, but uh, how did you do this and not disrupt golfers because they're so they so get so into their game. Were you driving with your dad when he was playing, or what were I you doing? was. I drove him around in the beginning. He held on for a dear life, but I just started driving, you know. And then I got more comfortable. And and a lot of it with you know with brain injuries and strokes and stroke uh, warriors, it's getting that independence, getting that confidence. It's really just getting that confidence to hey, I can drive again. And that's where I started. I started on the golf course and just started uh, driving the golf cart. And that's that's really re reteaching your brain the right and left. It's it's muscle, uh, what do you call it? Memory, muscle memory, and and it's retracting all that stuff in your brain to make it work. Is that kind of how it happened? Yes, hundred percent. Muscle memory. That's a great word, Jerry. That's so key. That actually what actually woke me up, and I got I felt I got I got actually smarter in time, and my endurance jet just came back because the first time I drove on the golf course couple of minutes i was exhausted i was wiped out i was ready to go to sleep wow yeah amazing well 
this this is a, a, a great starting point. You've given us a you've got us kind of halfway to the actual driver's seat. So that's uh, why we broke this into two sessions to have two well, sessions. Yeah, there's a lot more more gonna be part two. Yeah, there's a lot more I'll cover on the next show because I think the driving part is at least two of these shows, of course. Absolutely. Absolutely. So tell everybody where to go to how to how to contact you there. Uh, they, they can, they can um, if they click on the bit.ly link, they can connect us with Deshaunton.com. They can connect with me, you know, through an email through there through the contact page. And what I recommend everybody do, just please, your warriors out there, this is a community for all of us. This is not just about me. It's about everyone who's recovering from something, you know, a brain injury, a stroke. You all, and we all know people who are going through this. So this is about us as a team really educating ourselves. I wish I would have had a me in the beginning because it would have been so much easier in a sense because I didn't have any – no one no one gave me any guidance or taught me all this stuff. So Amen. We're, we're here every day just to teach all you, and, and I want to hear your comments. If you have a driving story, share it with me. Email us. I want to have you guys on the show. And this is about, you know, not about why me, but about what's next. And right. And Sean, let me just say that if you, folks, if you look in the, the information section, the introduction to this video, you'll see a bit.ly link there. Just click on it. it. takes you right to the connect page on Sean's page. And there's a comments area and you can leave your story. You can tell about your driving. You can tell anything you want or just ask Sean a question. We'd love to hear from you. So please do that. Thank you. Yes. And then share this with everybody. Please share these five minutes with Shawnee, with your community and with your loved ones. We're, going to, we're here to help you. And we'll be back tomorrow with part two part of Living the Drive. Thanks, yeah. Sean. Thanks, Jerry. You take care, brother. You bet. Bye-bye.